Prophecy Confirmation And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. As they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and ye shall be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. Prophecy is the mind of God revealed unto humanity by the interpretation of his prophets. In the book of Amos number 3 verse number 7, the Bible says, For the Lord God does nothing unless he reveals it unto his servants the prophets. Donald Trump, the Lord has spoken to me once again that we need to pray for this president as they are now beginning to resort into certain things that are threatening the life of this president. So we need to pray that they brief the security, they brief his security up even more so that these agents of darkness cannot penetrate through the security of the president of the United States. You know that the president of the United States is not only dealing with physical people but is dealing with the spiritual war that the church is fighting all over the world. So these people, when they are defeated spiritually, of which we have already defeated them, they will now resort into physical means. Hence, you are going to begin to see them fighting again, as I told you before. Now, I told you that God is in control of all this election, and God is ahead. So there's nothing to fear, but let us pray for the president so that there might be a protection in the president of the United States. There might, if it's possible for them to brief the security and increase the security for the president, let them do so. Let them increase the security details so that the president's life be secured at this hour. Because the enemy is going to lose, the devil is going to lose. So God is always going to be at the safe side of things. So this week let us pray pray for the president of the united states and pray that they begin to brief this security and and begin to increase the security detail so that the president may be protected against these forces of darkness that are there family you continue to pray for president trump continue to pray that god may help this president to win this battle because this battle is not of the president this is a battle between light and darkness and we know that god is on the side of light and therefore light will always win but i want you to pray for the safety of this president you will hear very soon they will try to make an attempt but they will never win they will never succeed so may more information coming in now from Nashville. Local authorities just gave a press conference. I want you to listen to part of it. Before six o'clock this morning, the police department received a call of a suspicious vehicle on Second Avenue North uh, outside the AT&T building. 
An officer responded and after assessing the vehicle had reason to call our hazardous devices unit. The hazardous devices unit was en route to the downtown area when an explosion linked to that vehicle took place at 6.30. Uh, the explosion was significant, as you can see from the street uh, there on 2nd Avenue. Now, the police department, its federal partners, the FBI, ATF, are conducting a large-scale investigation to this point. We do believe that the explosion was an intentional act. Uh, our federal partners continue to join us here at the scene this morning, and this investigation will be taking place throughout the day. Our police officers, with the assistance of the Tennessee Highway Patrol, are conducting a shutdown, if you will, of the downtown area while we assess this entire situation. So traffic in the downtown area uh, from the interstate system, really, uh, and in the immediate downtown area is going to be restricted as our teams attempt to assess exactly what's taken place, uh, who may be involved, etc. Uh, that's all the information I have for you at this point. Uh, we will do another update when we know more, uh, certainly in the next uh, hour or so. Uh, at this point, Joseph Pleasant from the Nashville Fire Department can talk about the response from his team. Good morning. As you can see, we have a significant response from our Fire Suppression Bureau as well as our EMS division. We have uh, multiple personnel here from our HAZMAT team as well as our Special Operations Division working uh, to support our uh, local, state, and federal partners. Right now, we can report we've made three transports to area hospitals. None of those transports at this point are critical. Uh, two of those uh, people went to uh, Centennial. Uh, one of those persons went to Vanderbilt University Medical Center. We do have have a special EMS division set up right now to monitor the situation. Uh, once again, we are asking everyone uh, to be mindful of the active ongoing situation here and to give our people uh, space to work in. Uh, but once again, right now, we don't have any significant injuries to report. Thank you. And I'll be back in an hour. Okay, one hour from now, right here. Okay. Thank you, Don. Thanks, Don. Thank you. I want to bring in Shimon Prokupes, who's following the details of this breaking news. Shimon, this looks like a pretty big explosion here. Do you know what buildings are surrounding uh, this area uh, where the explosion happened? Well, well, I think, Allison, when you look at these pictures, um, this does not look like a, a city uh, in anywhere in the United States right now. I mean, when you look at this and, and the extent of damage uh, that we're seeing here, it is quite remarkable. Uh, this was a pretty powerful uh, bomb. I mean, they're saying this was intentional. What exactly was used, we don't know. But the fact that this was intentional and the size of this explosion significantly, uh, it's a significant explosion. I mean, this is uh, more than a block of damage. We see vehicles uh, that were damaged, uh, nearby businesses. Uh, and we're also lucky that we're not talking about more injuries. Uh, right now, the officials there are saying there have been only three injuries. Uh, I mean, that is pure luck. Uh, talk about on Christmas Day. Uh, this seems to be a business area. It's downtown Nashville, so it's mostly stores and businesses. So perhaps uh, that's why uh, maybe people were not there. Uh, but this is really, when you talk about a miracle uh, in some ways, because look at the extent of this damage. I and mean, the damage here stretches out for blocks. Uh, so a couple of very key points that I think we've already have heard from the police there in Nashville is that they got a call for a suspicious vehicle. It was still dark out. The sun ha had not risen. And the police were on scene. They were responding. And when the officer got there, he or she noticed something suspicious. They were calling in uh, for perhaps the bomb squad to come in, the hazardous material team, that would be the bomb squad, to come in and help them out. And some time after that, there was this explosion. Um, so it's significant. So they have some, you know, pieces of information. They uh, perhaps, you know, where this call came from. Was it intentional to try and set up the police? That is something they're going to be looking at. Uh, but I just can't. Uh, get my mind, uh, wrap my mind around the amount of damage that we're seeing here. The other thing I should point out is that right now it appears that they don't have anyone in custody, that this explosion is linked to an RV, a vehicle that was placed there. It does not appear that they have anyone uh, in custody, so it would seem that whoever did this left the vehicle there and left Allison.
Family, you continue to pray for President Trump. Continue to pray that God may help this president to win this battle because this battle is not of the president. This is a battle between light and darkness. And we know that God is on the side of light and therefore light will always win. But I want you to pray for the safety of this president. You will hear very soon they will try to make an attempt, but they will never win. They will never succeed. So may Thank you for watching Jesus Reigns TV. I believe that you are blessed by the testimonies, the teachings, and the prophecies that you keep getting into this channel. Remember, Jesus Reigns is only here to make sure that you at, the, at your home, you are able to receive the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and to know the mind of God in the hour today. As many voices are speaking all over the world, it is very important to hear what the voice of the Lord is saying right now. Maybe you're sitting there at, the, at your home, watching or maybe you're watching through your phone or whatever medium you're using and you said in your heart i've seen the man of god preaching the gospel but i don't know jesus i've never met jesus and i would love to meet that jesus to come into my life right now if you don't know jesus christ i want to lead you to a prayer of salvation and the lord jesus will come to your heart and he will save you your sins will be forgiven and your life will be changed so make this prayer with me right now say lord jesus come unto my heart and change my life. I believe that you died and you resurrected. And today, because of your blood, I am saved. With my heart, I believe. With my mouth, I confess that you are the Lord over my life and the King of my salvation. Thank you, Jesus, for changing me in Jesus' name. Immediately, you have made this prayer. Now you are born again. Now you are a child of the kingdom of God. The Bible says we believe with our hearts, we confess with our mouth, and we are saved. Immediately, you have done this prayer. You have taken the best decision over your life. And right now, I want you to read the Bible and live by the word of the Lord because the Bible is clear that He gave all of us to become the sons of God. And now you are the son of God. May the Lord bless you. Continue to watch Jesus Christ TV. Continue to click on the notification. Until I see you next time. Shalom. Shalom.